Yes, because if the internet needs more of anything, it's unboxing videos. Actually, a little bit of backstory. If you got here via nerdbastards.com, you may remember about a year ago, I did write-ups on the loot crates. I uh, had a lot of fun doing it, but quite honestly, I stopped doing it because I got bored. Uh, nothing to do with loot crate themselves, just my very own skittish OCD lack of attention span. Squirrel! Lately, Loot Crate has been doing so good with their crates, I've decided to kind of come back, show them to you guys, see if you like what they got going on. Maybe you want to subscribe. You sound like an infomercial, but not a good one, like Slap Chop, more Shake Weighty. Well, if anything, I get to show off my skills as a hand model. Huh? Yeah, went to school for it and everything. So, okay, uh, February's theme, dead. Obviously, that leads us to one thing. It's February, everybody's talking about North America's greatest touring band, The Grateful Dead. Or maybe that uh, Ryan Reynolds movie. Yeah, pretty sure this is going to be more or less a full crate of Deadpool stuff and a few Walking Dead things just to sort of blouse it out. So, I guess let's pop it open and see what is inside. Time to make the chimmy f***ing changas. Please enjoy more of Dead. That's nice, and I guess you already kind of saw a little bit of the spoilers. I was correct on a few things. Like the fact that it's more or less just a box of Deadpool, because, well, I mean, let's be honest, after the Ryan Reynolds movie, I could do a few more, a uh, few more months of Deadpool things and a lot of people would be happy. It happens, all right? Quick, we'll take a look at the shirt first. That is... Oh, I got it upside down. Well, actually, technically, he's upside down. Uh, there. That is Deadpool in all of his taco-wanting glory. I just realized that... Yeah, it is a woman's large, which means I still have my account set to my wife's t-shirt size. So, two things. I don't get to have a Deadpool shirt, and she's going to be mad at me because I just told the entire internet that she's a woman's large. There we go. So, um, okay, obviously, I think we know what's in that. We'll save that for a little bit. We have uh, a very small Todd McFarlane Toys blind bag for The Walking Dead. Uh... Okay, now there's the figures you can get elsewhere, and here's one of the three that we get. Uh, we get uh, Mr. Bernie Man, uh, Coral's dad, and Darrell. We get one of those. So, uh, let's pop it open and see. <laughs> oh, there's my knife. We'll pop it open. See who we got. Hope I didn't just wreck the shirt. Uh, we got the instructions on how to build your very own walking deader. And we got. Uh, there. Take a look. We got a very unfortunately heavily burned up man. Actually, kind of still sticking with the Deadpool theme. A, a little bit of red paint, a chimichanga. I can make that a Deadpool figure, so. Uh, Rather than wasting time, or your time that is, putting this thing together, let's just toss it over there and see what else we have. Uh, okay, obviously, it is uh, the man of the month, the Merc with a mouth. A very nice Deadpool figure from Q-Fig. Uh, Q-Fig, I think actually a few months back, they had a Batman figure that I still quite enjoy. And this is exactly what I was talking about. We're talking quality over quantity as I make a mess of my studio. Look at that. A very nice Deadpool as he flies away from an explosion the way heroes, heroes do. So there, see, again, like I said, that is the kind of stuff you're getting from Loot Crate these days. Look at that wonderful little beauty. And uh, what else is in here? See, again, not a lot. Uh, they got the pin. I like what they're doing with the pins these days. They're a little bit more. I still don't know what I would ever do with all the pins I'm collecting, but one day I'll find out something. And here, um, get this out of here. It is a necklace of ears. It's um, soap on a rope necklace of ears, which should go along wonderful uh, for the next time that I want to cosplay as Dolph Lundgren from Universal Soldier. Do you hear me? For an obscure reference, but yeah. Um, 
If you want to freak out your in-laws, hang that from the shower head, I guess. Um, we'll toss it over there. And is there anything left? Uh, no, just the... Um, just the magazine, again, honestly, I know some people make fun of these. I actually do pop through, read them. Uh, see, here you go. Wonderful tips. How to survive a zombie apocalypse. So there you go. All the loot craters out there gonna know you're not. And if you don't subscribe, you're gonna... Okay, anyway. Uh, good crate. Again, t-shirts, always nice. Love that they're putting them out. Great t-shirt. I'm sure my wife will love it. A uh, little burnt up Walking Dead zombie boy. Um, he'll find a place on my shelf somewhere. Uh, he's going to go in the entertainment stand in the living room because I like to show off that I'm a giant child to everybody and really dig in the way it looks. That is a beautiful Deadpool. Um, and the ears. Um, probably just going to stay there for a while until I find out what else to do with them. It. There you go. And if you want in on this, they've announced the theme for March. It's going to be Verse. Now, stands to reason, there's going to be uh, some Batman v Superman action going on in there. And maybe we'll find out exactly where that S went. But they're also talking the big rivalries of all time. Uh, Daredevil vs. Punisher. Uh, Alien vs. Predator, which is neat if you're still stuck in the early aughts. Uh, Star Trek. Basically, they're going through the big rivals throughout time on this one. So, uh, you want your own loot crate? I'll put a uh, link in the bottom of the video thing here on YouTube where it goes or in the article on nerdbastards.com, wherever it is, you can see for yourself. And if you want to check out more on Deadpool and you're not done with people talking about how great of a movie it is, very shortly over at radiobastard.com going to have a very special podcast just about Deadpool. So you can hear two guys talk about how much they love Ryan Reynolds. Don't make it weird. Hey, I'm Naked Ryan Reynolds, fighting naked inside of a fire in the movie Deadpool. See if you can spot my wiener, because everyone was looking at that in the theater. Don't lie, you know you were.